Hello beautiful people, my name is Bridget and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all having an awesome day and today we're gonna spend the day together. Now it is kind of already the afternoon, I'm not gonna lie. I went ahead and did a bunch of small business stuff. I made YouTube short for the first time, which, cause I didn't know how those went. I wanna know if you guys liked them or not. Um, and I did like my emails business, made some earrings for my small business, stuff like that all morning. So today, since I can't film a real video, I'm still waiting for things to come in for makeup reviews. Some also some business supplies that need to come in too. And then also it's gonna pour down rain today so I can't film like a full on makeup video because the rain's gonna interrupt that. So today I figured I was just gonna do some small house, house tasks and I would take you guys with me. You seem to enjoy the video I did when I filmed it on, when I filmed it on my birthday of like doing small things around the house, small little tasks, cleaning up and stuff. And I like those type of videos too. I find them pretty relaxing and I can turn them on when I'm doing stuff. So maybe you guys will like that too. Um, but today that's what we're gonna do. I have some things to do, cleaning up some things. And also there's like a flea market find that I want to make look better. So if he's done yelling, let's get started. Also, I do have a small business if you wanna check it out, theopencurve.com. I'll leave a link down below. We're gonna keep 3D printing those spiderweb necklace holders. Hopefully you guys will enjoy them. Okay, let's get started. The first thing is actually in this room, which I just haven't used yet. So last weekend, not the one that just happened, the one before, we went to the flea market because your girl always needs to know what's in the flea market. You never know if there's something good in there. I got this for a dollar. It's just a pumpkin, right? He's a planter pumpkin. I got this for a dollar along with two other pumpkin-y things um, because there was one thing I really wanted. The one he said the whole table's a dollar. I just grabbed two other items and this was one of them. It's just a white plastic pumpkin. There's like weird... I don't know if it's because there was a flower pressed against it for a long time. There's like a bunch of weird lines on it and stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean it up. I don't care about cleaning the inside so much since a plant's going to go in it anyways. However, I do want to like magic eraser this up. And it's just kind of dingy. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it's kind of dingy. Also, I need to whiten my teeth, but I hate whitening my teeth because it hurts afterwards. All right, so I have a magic eraser now. This one's just the knockoff ones from Dollar Tree. You can get like a pack, pack of like four for $1.25. So, you know, you don't have to have the real on-brand ones. I just wet it and squeeze all the water out. And I'm just going to try to magic eraser off all or a lot of the grubbiness. It's going to go on my front porch. And our front porch needs to be redone anyways because it floods like crazy. And then also the crappy tile that's on our front porch is hella slippery. Uh, both Cortland and I and one of our people who was delivering pizza one night have slipped on it and almost busted our butts. Um, so it's just not ideal. Also, I keep grabbing the inside of the pot to hold this and I'm getting my little fingers dirty and then the dirty gets back on the pumpkin. So I'm just going to clean it up a little bit because it is going outside. It's probably going to get dirty anyways, especially since our porch isn't done. But our whole outside of our house is just like not aesthetically pleasing. Like it doesn't have too much character, like as far as like looking like, I don't know, spooky. I don't know. I feel like everyone has stuff. I keep saying I don't know. I feel like everyone has stuff in their yard that makes it look especially for them. And I, I do have that. But I just feel like when you like, if the Amazon com guy comes up to our porch, our porch is looking rough. I do have a really pretty concrete cat. But yeah. And then also I know people are going to me comments very nicely saying don't talk about like the exterior of my house. So people don't find me but I do have home security and don't be a creep yeah so this is my beautiful concrete cat isn't he beautiful he's lovely he was $75 it's so expensive but I, I fell in love I fell in love with him personally um, and he was from a unique artist they said so I like that anyways this is the plant that I picked out I got this little bush thing now to be honest I ran out of potting soil yesterday potting the, the snake plants from my inside of my house so I don't have any extra. I'm going to put him in here for now like this. I'm going to take him out of his square pot, put him in the planter, and then I'll get some more dirt tomorrow from Home Depot. So I told you I went to the flea market and I got three things for a dollar. This is the one that sucked me in. 
Look at him. He's like a little jack-o'-lantern head. He was on something. I thought, I think he may have a body at some point. It's like a collar. And in the inside, there's this piece of cardboard that shows that when the cardboard moves. But I love this head. So I ordered some fake plants from Amazon. They'll be here today that I thought I could put in here and make him look like he's a planter too. He's very heavy, like a ceramic with cardboard on the inside. So if you have any idea of what he is, let me know but he's gonna be holding a plant. <laughs> Every Sunday I bring this chair in from our patio so I can play games in it because I feel like I'm better at Mario Kart <laughs> with this in here. But now that it's the week again, this needs to go back outside. <laughs> And as the mommy of the house, I get to clean up all the toys every day. <laughs> So lunchtime in our house means both of the babies get fed their wet food with extra high protein to make them big and strong, especially since Poe had some medical issues, he's a little stunted. Then also Miss Akasha gets her wet food, which is always chicken and chicken broth situation, and then some nose relief because she has really bad allergies. Everyone has like their own little thing about them. So a lot of you guys will probably remember my office flip the crit video. Well, in that video, there was still a little bracket in the center of the wall here, which we think they had a TV mounted on before, obviously, before we bought the house. Um, so now I'm just gonna, since we already spackled over it, it's not the best sand job in the world, but I'm just gonna cover this up so you don't see it, and then I can hang something pretty up there eventually. I didn't feel like going back to the garage and getting another scoop of this paint because the bucket's so big I can't pick it up. So that's gonna have to work for now. Also, let's, let's clean this area because it's kind of a mess. It looks pretty cute, but it's kind of a mess. Okay, so this built-in was meant to house my printers. Not the thermal one that I used for labels for my shop that was really on my desk. It was gonna hold the Cricut, my laser jet for the sticky label paper to make the wax smells, as well as my big sublimation printer who was actually still over here, that guy. That guy, that was so expensive. I wonder if the money was worth it every day of my life. But regardless, a lot of those printers, the Cricut, the thermal one, and the laser jet all have to go over there on the other side of my office, unattached to my desk because they need a direct wire connection um, to work. They keep it disconnected for the Wi-Fi and stuff, so they have to be over there next to me. So this idea of being a printer table, it only has one of the four printers on it now. So there's that, but let's clean it up. My husband 3D printed and ordered some parts for his VR setup, but that doesn't need to be over here. You know, I'm always looking for kitchen scissors and then somehow they end up in rooms that I didn't bring them into. You know what I'm saying? Husbands be stealing kitchen scissors for all kinds of stuff. I do have some sublimation paper that just goes in the drawers over here. It's kind of hard to show you this entire area. You're just not going to see my face, I guess. Okay, so this is kind of, you get the idea of the printers over there. This is kind of what remains. This box under here, not my stuff. I don't know what to do with it, but everything else on top here is fine. I love the ghosts. My husband likes the gnomes. Don't judge me. It's not my favorite thing in the world either. So let's start talking about this area. I feel like I just put this plant here because I don't know where else to put him. And I also have a real one hiding back here. So I think I'm going to move them down to the moon table. I'll move that one down there. This little guy on the throne is missing his nub off the top. So I'm just going to put it in the seat with him since I don't have a hot glue gun heated up. This plant here is just a fake plant to hide this weird beam in the center. And then I have a lot of ghosts. Now, I don't like the ghouls just wanna have fun pump pumpkin. My husband loves it, so I let him have it in the room. But like, I love all my ghosts, but there's not enough room for all my ghosts. Like he gets three shelves in here and I only get one and some countertop space. So I thought about moving the gnomes, or not the gnomes, moving my ghosts to the living room above our fish tank. But some of them have really wide bases. Like this is probably not gonna fit on a standard shelf. So I'm not sure. 
what to do with them all. So I'm just gonna do some rearranging. Okay, maybe this is a little better. It's gonna work for now. Okay, so it is like three o'clock almost, 2.48 in the afternoon. I'm waiting for Amazon to get here so I can get those fake plants. Possibly make a couple wax melts until my fragrance oils comes in. Um, for my Vincent wax melt scent. So I was thinking about making those today, but nothing's come in yet. And I need to do a digital design for my Etsy. I have two Etsy's technically. I have one with physical products and I have one for digital designs. I'm going to make a digital design today. But also I wanted to like take a second and tell you guys the ups and downs of home ownership. So I leave my house at 78 degrees constantly. This room in particular, I leave it 80 but I can't leave the AC on all the time. We leave our house at 78 degrees um, because, well, that's almost 80 degrees and we don't wanna like, want run the electric bill up constantly. Our electric bill is still over $350 a month. Even though we use all LED bulbs, we don't run lights that are unnecessary. The only thing we leave on is fans since our house is left at such a hot temperature. And even those are left on like low and only in like two rooms. But our electric bill is still crazy. And then, like, this room, I say I keep it 80. And that is, like, kind of I leave it at 80. Like, it, the thing is dying outside. So if I leave it on for more than an hour, it'll... Or sometimes it's just really hot outside. I leave it on for 10 minutes. It'll... And seize and screech and yell at me. So we can't leave this AC unit on. What I can do is have the two fans that work in this room on low setting. Because that's all they'll do. <laughs> Um, and then I can cut the AC on to lower the temperature down to 80 and then I'm warm working and stuff It'll get its way back up to like 88 degrees and then I'll turn the AC back on and let myself cool down a little bit That's all I can really do for this room because the AC unit just it, if it gets too hot. It seizes up, you know That sucks because they didn't service the AC units for us even though we requested it When we were trying to buy the house we requested it and I guess that part they denied our real estate agent was not very helpful and then also another downside besides the high electric bill because you never know how much it's going to be when you change houses and stuff you could check like the zip code and find out the average electric bill in there but you don't know if other people are using like led bulbs if they're running this if they're running the ac really high you never know how much your electric is going to be so we didn't expect such a high electric bill with this house but not only can i not run the ac however i want in this room but I also understand this room has a lot of windows. Upstairs died on us this weekend. We have three units this house. One controls the main front rooms and everything. The one in here that controls this room because it's an addition. And then the upstairs because it's also a separate addition and like they put in like the 80s or something. So there's the main house AC and then these two small ones. The two small ones have died. This one I can cut on for a little bit. The one upstairs we tried to go to bed the other night and it was just blowing and the AC was running, but it did not get cold. So all this weekend, like, cause I couldn't film a vlog is cause we were cleaning the coils, of the air conditioner, got water off the floor, took the water hose, flushed all the pipes out, did everything that you're recommended to help fix your AC so we could sleep upstairs in our bedroom and it just didn't work. So we're sleeping on the couch temporarily again. So that's just... Crossing my fingers, it just fixes itself, or we can find someone to do it for cheap to service it. But also, just I just want to tell you the downsides sometimes of owning a house. Owning a house is wonderful. It is amazing. It is a joy to change anything I want. If I want to knock a hole in the wall, who's going to stop me? I don't, but who's going to stop me? If I want to change a light fixture, who's going to stop me? If I don't like the floors, I don't have to have the floors. Like You can do whatever you want, and I love that freedom, and also I love the fact that it's my property and then i don't have to worry about moving so i don't have to change my mailing address again but also if you have a landlord and you're renting if something breaks they're technically supposed to fix it i know they don't always do it but they're supposed to be fixed and then you're not out thousands of dollars trying to fix these things like i didn't expect two ac units to freaking 
out on us within two or four, no, we lived here four months. Four months, two AC units within four months, like out on us? All I can say is I'm glad fall is coming, you know? Anyways, I just wanted to rant in case people were wondering about like benefits and disadvantages of owning a home. There's a lot of benefits, but the disadvantages are sometimes you just ain't got the money to fix some stuff, <laughs> you know? Um, but anyways, I'm gonna make a digital design now for my Etsy, digital Etsy, and uh, go from there. So I actually cannot think of a design to do right now. <laughs> so I thought I would also share with you guys how much TikTok pays, kind of. I'm not a big TikToker, you know? I had 10,000 followers. Um, like a month and a half ago. And this morning I hit 15. I'm at 15.1 right now because I had a video about Joanne's plant pots go pretty viral and it got me a lot of followers. Um, but with a gaining of 5,000 followers on TikTok and being paid every day for a month and a half with hundreds of thousands of views, I have been paid, I, I haven't gotten the money, but I have a balance of 2236 since July 30th. July 30th was the first day I got monetized through 826 because they're a couple days behind. It's the 29th right now. But in all that time, I got paid $22. And I was, I've was i been posting multiple videos a day, every day. You're usually like small ones. Like I'll, I'll show the stuff in Dollar Tree's Halloween section and then I'll post a Halloween haul of Dollar Tree stuff. Like that one trip to Dollar Tree got me two TikTok videos. So that's what I've been posting. I'm posting something every day which has been a lot of work and like trying to think creatively for $22, which don't get me wrong, $22, $22. I can get pizza with that. Um, but when people talk about TikTokers making millions and billions of dollars, they have to be getting really good views for that. But I'm gonna keep at it because what if this $20 in a month can eventually turn into $100 a month? You know, that pays a credit card bill. Alright, so I could not think of any designs to make. I was just thinking of like trick or treat and stuff and I feel like I already have a lot of that kind of things. Um, but I'm distracted so I did a couple of dishes and I was sitting here thinking about the dinner I went to a week and a half ago. Hi honey. Oh gosh, hi honey. You're not getting more wet food. You can eat some dry food. Look at a little tear. Okay. So I was thinking about this dinner that I went to a week and a half ago, right? And how much it has bothered me ever since. I know, honey. I know. So Cortland's brother and his wife were in town. Um, they don't live in the state. They were in town because they wanted to go to a cruise or something, I think. I think it was a cruise they said they were going to. Some kind of vacation. Anyways, they were in town. And they called us at like 5.30 at night one night. I'm repolstering a bench on the floor and he's cutting drywall in our front room and they're like, hey, we're in town. We never get to see you. Let's grab food. And two hours later, we were at a restaurant, okay? <sighs> Nobody told us there would be 15 people there, 13 plus us. No one told me there would be 15 people there. Do not invite me to a dinner last minute and not tell me there's gonna be that many people there. First of all, <laughs> just don't invite me if there's that many people there. I didn't even have that many people at our wedding. So that was really awkward. And then, you know, we order our food. It's all coming out really sporadically. Our waitress was clearly new because when I ordered a margarita, but with vodka instead of tequila, cause I ain't trying to die like that. She was like, I don't know if that's possible. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, so the waitress was already overwhelmed with how many people were there and she was, didn't know the menu very well and stuff, which is fine. Everybody has to learn. But she really didn't know what to do when Cortland cut into his burrito. After like three bites, he cuts into his burrito and almost puts something in his mouth, which turns out to be the finger of a glove, like a black plastic finger finger condom situation without the rolly piece of the finger condom. So there could have been the full glove in there, but we didn't open up the glove to, or open up the burrito to inspect it. 
he just pulled the finger out of his fork almost out of his mouth and Coral and I are not very confrontational people especially in groups but it was really awkward having I'd say maybe six of the other 13 other people there complaining to the waitress trying to talk to the manager and everything and Cortland's trying to like be the most calm thing ever and say all oh, that's not necessary. It was really awkward to be overwhelmed by the amount of people we had to have dinner with that I wasn't expecting to talk to and explain why I'm green um, or why I didn't let people at our wedding <laughs> because we don't need extra people at our wedding. And then also had to deal with the fact that There was a glove in the food, like inside of the tortilla, inside of the meat, in the burrito. I don't know how that happens unless they're cutting up the meat and chop the finger off and then put it on the grill to grill the chicken. Like I don't understand how that works. I don't know how that happened. I don't know if the rest of the glove was in that burrito. Um, but then we had to deal with everyone else making a big deal about it for the rest of the night and it was very awkward and maybe uncomfortable. Am I the only one that would be super uncomfortable in the situation? Because other people will be like, oh, it's a last minute thing. Go with the flow. Who cares who's there? Meanwhile, I'm like, when can I leave? So, <laughs> yeah. So hopefully, uh, if you know Cortland, you did not see this video. <laughs> and uh, it just, it feels such an awkward night for me. And even though it's been a week and a half, it still bothers me that we went. Come here. What are you doing? It's your popo. Say hi, ba -ba, ba -ba, ba -ba, ba -ba, ba -ba, ba -ba. So anyways, other than that weird dinner situation, yes, we got that burrito taken off for free. We still paid for my meal and the liquor. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to make sure I said that the, it was taken off the tickets. And also, if you live in Jacksonville, avoid the Cantina Louie in Mandarin right over the bridge to like St. John's County. Don't go there, <laughs> okay? Just don't do it. Um, now I'm going to film a eyeshadow palette declutter today because I don't want to waste my day since Amazon stuff isn't here and also my fragrance oil isn't here either so I can't make wax melts. I'm going to film this since the rain has stopped for a little bit and I'm going to try to edit it today too if I have time but we'll see because I get in trouble every time I post an eyeshadow declutter. Someone is all, hold on I was trying to put this up. Anytime I post one someone is mad at me like mad at me in the Depop DMs or mad at me in the comments about me not listing things on decluttering at the same time posting the YouTube video, but I have to clean up the palettes, figure out which ones I'm donating, which ones I'm giving away to people I know, which ones, you know, I'm gonna put up there, take all the pictures, make sure the pictures look good, make all the listings, list all the prices, list the description, of everything it takes me a very long time to be doing it at the exact same time the video is going up when usually the day the video is going up I'm working on a different video for the future so I'm tired of people being mad at me for that it feels like a weird thing to be mad at someone over not being able to do things 100 things at once and also a lot of my eBay listings end today so we'll see if I make some sales on that as well I've got a bunch of side hustles going on y'all <laughs> okay I finished the declutter I declutter most of my palettes, to be honest, at least, okay, probably like 60% of my palettes because I just don't need to hoard them. And now it's hot because I was filming that for like almost an hour. So uh, that's not getting edited today. Alright you guys, I have no idea how long this video is going to be <laughs> because I kept doing random things. Um, so I don't know how long this is going to be, hopefully it's a decent length. But my husband's taking a online class and listening to a lecture right now so I have to be kind of quiet so I don't know what else to do um, for this video. I did some of my eBay listings sold today for very cheap because I wasn't trying to make a bunch of money. I was trying to just make a few dollars and get these things moved to a new home would be appreciated more. And yeah, so I'm excited about that. And hopefully, you know, I can be better about selling things online. Like when I come across a good deal in a safe sale, maybe I'll be better about it so I can make a few dollars. I like a side hustle, you know? But I'm also not trying to be one of those people who price gouge for like a thousand dollars or something that costs four dollars for them, you know? But 
anyways thank you guys so much for watching today's video hope you enjoyed it i hope it was fun for you and i will see you in the next video bye have a great day also i look uh, uh, i had a stressful week and so my skin is punishing me of course as soon as i have like a big video coming up with the jeffrey thing but anyways have a great day guys